how to eliminate limiting beliefs that you guys have or may have, right? The first thing is being able to identify what limiting beliefs do I have, right? And we want to keep in mind that a lot of these limiting beliefs actually come from past experiences in our life, especially when you're younger, because that's when you're soaking up the most knowledge. So when you think about these things, think about first identifying them. What limiting beliefs do I have? The best way to do this is by meditating. And I always come back to meditating, why that's so, so important to, to go back to meditating, sit down for, for a second, think about something that you think is potentially a limiting belief you may have around money, wealth, success, providing value, women, whatever it is. Sit down with yourself and think about these things. The best way, find something you think is a limiting belief, sit down, put a time on your phone for like 10, 15 minutes, you know, 10, 15 minutes and go through that layer by layer. What do I mean by that? Do you, I, I, I feel like I, I'm not deserving of wealth. Why do you feel like you're not deserving of wealth? Well, because I grew up and we never really had wealth in our family like that. Why was that? And you dig deeper and deeper and deeper until you find that. Why do you have to believe other people's limiting beliefs when you are your own person, right? You are your own person. So why do you have to believe other people's limiting beliefs? Doesn't make sense, does it? So that's how you would do it. And that's a practical step on how to do it. <coughs> Where you actually start by finding something you think is a limiting belief that you may have. And then you actually meditate on it, right? Meditating is such a useful tool in your toolbox, right? And if you guys don't know, I'm huge into minimalism. And so that is always gonna be with me, as well as journaling, which I might invest into an iPad, which, because I have so many notebooks, I realize I have like eight notebooks and I hate having all these notebooks. I, I, I don't wanna collect all these things because I wanna be able to move if I need to, go to a whole different state and I don't have to pack that much. I have all my notes, all my, my history, all the things that I would ever need, right? So. Anyways, <clears throat> I talk about in another video, the two, two things in personal development, which I say is journaling and meditation, which I've always come back to. Even if I stop for a bit, I always come back to it because I know those are two very <coughs> powerful tools in your toolbox. So once again, start by finding something you think is a limiting belief, sit down with that by meditating, asking yourself that question. Why do you believe that's a limiting belief? Dig deeper, deeper, and deeper until you get yourself an answer. And then you let that go and realize that you shouldn't, that shouldn't be a limiting belief to you. And it gets you closer to eliminating that limiting belief. So anyways, guys, if you guys enjoy this video, we will talk soon. And let me know what else you guys want to see. So have a great rest of your day.